technology has made communication so easy that long distance relationships no longer suffer from that. People often think long distance relationships will never work. And you even get discouraged by your family members, your friends can tell you not to take it too seriously in case you chop breakfast. If you're not Nigerian, breakfast is a slang used when you are experiencing a heartbreak. Long distance relationships may be hard, but trust me, they have their own surprises. Good day and welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Tammy and this is Real Talk with Tammy. This brings us to 5 tips on how to make a long distance relationship work. Are you trying to make a long distance relationship work? Then you need to try these tips. Try to communicate regularly. Communicate with your partner, talk to your partner morning and night. Gone are the days when calls are being rationed and you or your partner will start waiting for meals. Technology has made communication so easy that we now have so many platforms for communication where we have WhatsApp, Telegram, Snapchat, Facebook, and name it, just name it. So you need to update your partner on your life. Send pictures, send videos, you know, audio clips, you know, and all of that. By trying this effort, by making this kind of effort, you make, you're making your partner feel loved and attended to. So number two, stay honest with your partner. Stay honest with each other. If you try to hide anything from your partner, trust me, sooner or later, that secret will swallow you up. Try talking to your partner about your fear of insecurity, jealousy, you know, whatever it is it may be. Talk to your partner about it. Don't try to, you know, deal with things by yourself. Let your partner know about it. Talk to your partner about it. Let your partner support you and give you that support that you need. Number three, stay positive. Have this positive mindset. Yes, the weight can be hard. You know, you can sometimes feel lonely. You might feel so, so down. You know, the weight can be so tiring. You know, but constantly inject this positive energy into your relationship, into your long distance relationship. Constantly, and you need to always remind yourself that the fruits, <laughs> the fruits at the end is going to be sweet as heaven. And be thankful that you have someone to love. And trust me, that will make you stay so positive. It will make you stay so positive. Trust me. So number four, enjoy your time with your friends and family. Don't let your life revolve around your partner alone. You have your family members, you have your friends, you still have them around you. Get a new hobby. If you are the type that likes going to gym, you know, then that's good for you. Go to the cinema, watch movies, you know, uh, have a girls and girls, have girls and girls, have guys and girls, you know, watch movies, go play games, you know, and all of that. There are so many things, there are a lot, a lot, and I say a lot, that you can do that does not have to involve your partner. Stay with your family, stay around your family so you don't feel lonely, so you don't feel alone. And so this brings us to the number five tip, the fifth tip on how to make your relationship work, long distance relationship. This one is you need to know your partner's schedule. Hmm. This has brought so many worries in a relation, in a long distance relationship. This has brought so many disaster in a long distance relationship. Know your partner's schedule. You need to know when your partner is busy. You need to know when your partner is free. So he can help you, you know, call and send messages at the right time. So that when your partner does not pick calls or respond to your messages, you don't have to start worrying about, you know, a relationship whereby you know your partner's schedule, then you won't have to start worrying. If you call your partner and doesn't pick, you'll be like, oh, what time is it? Oh, this person must be busy at so-so time. Oh, this person is free, you know, it will help you to be a guideline. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. So please, if you're in a long distance relationship and you want your relationship to work, these are some tips for you. If your long distance relationship is shaking, you know, is not stable, you get it? It's having one leg, maybe one leg has cut <laughs> or one leg has broken, it's raining three, so you're trying to balance it. Please try these tips. People need to, you know, find time to maybe get to see each other once in a while. Maybe once in a month or twice in a month, if you are in the same country but not the same state, you can decide. You can you can schedule your time, you know, to see each other once a month or or you know three times in two months. But you know, if you are not in the same country, you can get you know 
maybe once in a year, right? Just add that physical feeling, you know, physical uh, appearance. You get what I'm saying? I leave this to the comment section. Let's meet in the comment section, you guys. Yeah, in a long distance relationship, please let us know in the comment section how you are coping, how you are making it work. Share your experience with us. Tell us how we can, you know, other tips that is not mentioned here. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe. Subscribe to my channel. Press that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? And if you're a comeback subscriber, Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much. I can't thank you guys enough. Catch you guys in my next video. Bye.